not so very far from Earth, relatively speaking, scientists have discovered a new planet known as Proxima b. We have found a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found because it's the nearest star to the Sun. The James Webb Space Telescope has made an unexpected discovery. What appear to be city-like lights in space, located 7 trillion miles away from Earth. This incredible finding has sparked curiosity about the possibility of life on other planets. The telescope focused on Proxima Centauri b, the closest star to Earth, and detected unusually bright lights emanating from it. What could be causing these lights to resemble those of a city? Could this be proof of extraterrestrial life? Scientists and space enthusiasts have been searching for evidence of life beyond our solar system for years, and any hint that this mystery might be real is being closely examined. Recently, researchers received a groundbreaking shock when the James Webb Space Telescope captured compelling evidence suggesting that life may exist in space. As the telescope scanned the vastness of the cosmos, it sent crucial data back to Earth, including an intriguing discovery a series of mysterious lights seemingly emanating from Proxima Centauri b. These lights appeared to cast a glow on what resembled a distant city, sparking awe and speculation among scientists about the potential existence of an alien civilization. The possibility of such an advanced extraterrestrial society has both excited and perplexed researchers. If verified, this could provide evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth, with societies far beyond what humanity has imagined. As NASA engineers study the city-like lights located 7 trillion miles away, they wonder how long these lights have been shining, perhaps waiting for humanity to develop the technology to detect them. David Kipping, a scientist at Columbia University, described Proxima b as an enigma, made even more mysterious by these city-like illuminations. He pointed out that the heating patterns on Proxima b differ from those of other known planets. While most rocky planets absorb sunlight, and release infrared energy, Proxima b shows a distinct infrared signature. Unlike anything from its parent star, Proxima Centauri, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is ideally suited for studying this anomaly, given its high sensitivity to infrared wavelengths. Thanks to its advanced infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST can identify Proxima b's unique heat signature, providing scientists with crucial information about exoplanet atmospheres. Researchers hope the telescope will reveal more about this enigmatic planet's atmosphere and assess its potential for habitability. With its superior infrared sensitivity, the James Webb Telescope is perfectly equipped to explore what occurs on Proxima Centauri b during the night. While most space telescopes struggle to detect the faintest light across the vastness of space, the JWST can pick up even the smallest rays, making it the ideal tool for solving this cosmic puzzle. If the reports about city lights on the night side of Proxima b are accurate, all artificial lights in the universe could be detected by telescopes, as long as they fall within a frequency range 1,000 times narrower than sunlight. The interaction between Proxima b's stellar characteristics and its surface is quite fascinating. On the planet's day side, numerous solar screens capture energy from its star. Additionally, the planet's spectral edge reflects light back into space. As Proxima b orbits its host star, Proxima Centauri, it experiences day and night cycles similar to Earth's, with the sun warming the day and cooling things down at night. The planet's temperature fluctuations are influenced by its composition. Without an atmosphere, Proxima b would likely see a dramatic difference in temperature between day and night. Without the seas and gases in the atmosphere, the day side of Proxima b would experience extreme heat, similar to that of a black body, while the night side would be pitch dark and freezing. Astronomers are keen to understand the variations in temperature to gain insights into the planet's atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, plays a crucial role here, as it can swiftly measure the planet's heat emissions, providing valuable data on the atmosphere with its advanced infrared imaging capabilities. Interestingly, the JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima b's orbital period, allowing it to observe the planet's entire day-night cycle over just 11.2 Earth days. Given that Proxima b likely has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its chemical composition to determine if it could support life.
Gases such as oxygen, water vapor, and methane are key indicators that a planet could be habitable. The presence of these elements may suggest the planet has conditions suitable for life. However, scientists must carefully analyze light as it passes through the planet's atmosphere to confirm this. While the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, excels at examining planetary atmospheres, it struggles to detect bound oxygen, a crucial sign of life. Despite these challenges, the JWST can still identify other potential life markers, like ozone, in the atmosphere. It's also important to note that the JWST can only observe a limited number of nearby, potentially habitable planets. Astronomers are eagerly awaiting the launch of ground-based telescopes, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, set to begin operations in 2028, which will allow for more detailed atmospheric studies. The ELT will offer a closer look at the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, providing valuable data to assess their potential habitability. In the meantime, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a vital tool as we investigate the mysterious phenomena occurring on far-off exoplanets. Despite some challenges, the Webb Telescope has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of planet exploration, both now and in the future. Future space telescopes aim to reduce the bright glare from a planet's host star, enabling scientists to capture the faint light reflecting off the planet more clearly. To achieve this, they plan to use internal masks or large external shields, much like how we shield our eyes from the sun for better visibility. Future telescopes will be able to study faint light reflections from faraway exoplanets better because host stars will give off less bright light. This will allow for a more in-depth study of their atmospheres and their ability to support life. However, this process has some problems such as the need to tell the difference between gases made by living things and gases made by natural processes like volcanoes. Astronomers are still driven to learn more about exoplanets and tell the difference between real signs of life. The Webb Telescope's contributions to exoplanet research offer a glimpse into the groundbreaking discoveries that lie ahead in science. As we continue to explore space, we gain a deeper understanding of how the universe operates and our place within it. Although scientists have been scanning the cosmos for decades, concrete evidence of life beyond Earth remains elusive. Yet the search for extraterrestrial life endures. For centuries, people have wondered if they are truly alone in the universe. Today, scientists use the James Webb Telescope to search for clues of life on distant planets and potential alien civilizations. This age-old question continues to captivate us, with the belief that extraterrestrials are out there, waiting to be discovered among the stars. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI Institute was founded in 1984 by Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, two American scientists, to look into this idea. SETI is a nonprofit group whose mission is to search the universe for radio messages coming from space. Radio waves are interesting because they can travel long distances without getting lost or absorbed like some other types of radiation do. Even though SETI has been looking for over 30 years, they have not yet found any such signs. Jill Tarter, on the other hand, is still hopeful and believes that new technology will help speed up the search. She thinks that new findings will be made if everyone in the world is allowed to join the search for alien friends in space. Also, NASA has recently said that the James Webb Space Telescope may have seen city lights from a world close to Earth. The JWST is an exceptional tool for exploring the universe, designed to uncover details that are difficult to detect about galaxies, planets, stars, and the origins of space itself. With its advanced camera and filters, the telescope can isolate specific wavelengths of light, enabling scientists to examine the chemical and physical properties of distant celestial bodies. The Webb Telescope is constantly searching for subtle signs of life in the atmospheres of exoplanets, helping to unravel some of the universe's most fascinating mysteries. One of these is the discovery of more mass in the universe than we previously knew particularly hidden mass found in enormous galaxies, sparking new questions about the shape and scale of the early universe. Twenty years ago, people didn't know much about the universe outside of our solar system. 
However, astronomers have now discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets circling faraway stars, showcasing the advancements in our curiosity and technology. NASA believes these findings are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to space exploration. According to scientists, there are actually trillions of exoplanets out there that haven't been found yet. Despite decades of searching, scientists continue to explore space, hoping to find alien homes in places humans have never been. Along the way, there have been moments of hope. When the Galileo spacecraft went to Jupiter, its spectroscopic device detected a unique set of wavelengths that supported the idea that plants could grow on other planets. For the first time, scientists have discovered a biosignature that suggests the presence of life beyond Earth. Known as the Vegetation Red Edge, VRE, this signature detects alien life by analyzing how light reflects off surfaces. Using VRE, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, aims to unravel the mysteries of distant worlds by mapping the orbits of planets in their star's habitable zone. Once identified, VRE can offer vital insights in the quest for intelligent life beyond our planet, opening the door to a new era of exploring the universe's hidden wonders. When sunlight passes through atmospheric layers, atoms and molecules absorb specific wavelengths of light, creating a unique spectral pattern similar to a fingerprint. Spectroscopic research can help decode these patterns. Many believe that the Webb telescope will be able to detect light from stars as it interacts with a planet's atmosphere. Based on our current understanding, the JWST may be the missing piece in determining the composition of exoplanet atmospheres. Many Earth-sized planets contain carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen in their atmospheres, making them possible candidates for life. However, the absence of expected chemical compositions could suggest the presence of different life forms and even technological societies. Although studying Proxima b presents challenges, it remains crucial to uncover more about this distant planet. As long as people are fascinated by the mysteries beyond our solar system, the search for extraterrestrial life will continue. Proxima Centauri itself poses difficulties, frequently flaring up, which complicates the study of a potentially habitable world like Proxima b. Fortunately, the James Webb Space Telescope is positioned beyond the reach of these flares, allowing it to capture valuable images and data about the universe, which will be analyzed here on Earth. What are your thoughts on the idea of man-made city lights reaching Proxima Centauri b, located 7 trillion miles away from Earth? We'd love to hear your opinion.